A quantum computer allows you to, in principle, store exponentially more information and process that information. Here in the lab at Case Western Reserve, we're trying to push forward this quantum revolution, and the route that we're taking is a little bit different. We're focusing on quantum bits that are based in diamond, based on uh, defects that occur in individual atomic sites in a diamond crystal, uh, because it has electrons that are attached to it. Just by shining lasers on them, you can initialize the spin into a certain quantum state. You can control the quantum state using microwaves, and then you can measure the quantum state by looking at the light emitted by those effects. A big advantage is that it's ready for applications right now to detect things in the environment. Primarily what we're looking at is things to detect magnetic fields, which are important for how to develop new kinds of magnetic materials. Some of those materials are coming from the material science department here at Case Western Reserve, where new materials are being developed with a nanoscale structure that makes them particularly well suited for power converters for electric vehicles and things like that. And trying to use our diamond quantum sensors to understand what's going on in those materials at a microscopic level with really good spatial resolution. It's a kind of technology that's not as far along as these superconducting qubits that they use at IBM and at the Cleveland Clinic, but it has the advantage that it actually works at a room temperature. It's a big goal that we have in our research is to understand how to build the infrastructure you need to make a chip where you can have many of these quantum bits and not only control them individually, but couple them together to create quantum entanglement that gives quantum computing its true power. The science is becoming increasingly interdisciplinary and especially quantum science and engineering. We have a collaborative course we teach on quantum computing, information and devices with four different faculty from physics, math, computer science and engineering. And so it's a real ecosystem of students both learning, doing experiments and teaching each other. We even have high school students come in sometimes from some of the local high schools. By harnessing the power of quantum mechanics to do this diamond quantum sensing, we can do something useful today. And while doing it, we learn how to control the quantum system better and better and aim towards scaling this up to make ultimately a room temperature scalable quantum computer, a really revolutionary technology.